today we have a huge update to talk about. It brought a lot of balance changes and buffs and nerfs to a lot of weapons. So this update's pretty controversial. A lot of people don't like the weapons that were nerfed, and you know, understandably, they spent either a lot of time or even maybe some real money on their weapon, and now it's not as good as it was before, and they're forced to you know buy a new weapon or you know save up for a new weapon. So. It's, it, I understand it's pretty frustrating, so anyways, we're going to talk about all the changes that were made to all the guns. There are some buffs and um, some guns that have been pretty underpowered for a long time, and they needed a buff, so that, that, there's some positives, you know. So, to start out with, let's talk about um, the shotguns. The recoil was reduced for the Cerberus, which is a huge buff because that was its greatest weakness, that huge recoil that would really prevent you from aiming well. It always had a ton of damage. So now it's just going to be easier to aim and deal that damage. So I think the Cerberus will be the second best shotgun after this update. Because the Ranger was nerfed, I'll get to that in a second. Um, so the Cerberus will be second after the Porcupine. Uh, it's just going to be dealing a ton more damage now that you can aim it better without that recoil. The recoil of the battering ram was also reduced, um, but its rate of fire was reduced by 17% as well. So... It kind of evens it out. It will probably be overall weaker from that minus 17% rate of fire. Uh, this Tempest rate of fire was slightly increased. It's still going to be a really bad gun. I don't recommend it. Um, okay, so next is the Brawler. The rate of fire was decreased by 11%, and the an ammo capacity was reduced from 12 to 10. That's a completely unneeded nerf. It was already not the strongest gun. Um, I think they should have left it the way it was, or even they could have buffed it. Um, but I don't know why they nerfed it. The fire rate decreased by 11% is really going to hurt its damage. Okay, next we have the Trader. The general distance was decreased by 9%, and general distance means range. So it has a lower range. The fire rate was also decreased by 12.5%, which is another huge nerf to its damage. Um, ammo capacity was reduced from 11 to 9 per clip. So, you know, you're going to get less ammo as well. I don't know why they're nerfing these guns. They didn't really need a nerf. Anyways, it's just going to make the Porcupine even more dominant compared to other guns. So next we have the Remedy. Um, the range was reduced by 9% and fire rate decreased by 17%. Um, the Remedy actually feels stronger compared to other guns after this update, but um, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Okay, the Ranger. This is the biggest nerf that people are really upset about because so many people use the Ranger. It was probably one of the most popular guns um, in the game from you know low levels all the way up to maximum levels I'd say like 30 40 percent of players use the Ranger um, so it has a range decrease of 10 percent and a fire rate decrease of 17 percent so they're kind of you know decreasing that range and fire rate on all the guns oh and the ammo capacity was decreased from 9 to 8 so they kind of nerfed all the shotguns in the same way um, reducing the range, reducing the fire rate, and reducing the ammo capacity. I, I do not know why they did that. Um, if they wanted to make shotguns less powerful, they should have done it for all the shotguns, including the porcupine, because um, the porcupine now is just going to be, you know, the sole dominant gun, uh, maybe apart from the Cerberus. So yeah. Uh, next we have machine guns. Let's talk about machine guns. Some of the machine guns that you may rarely see in games have been buffed. Um, the Fortuna got damage per shot increased by 7%, and the chance of activating the perk is increased from 9 to 11%. It's still not going to be a great gun, I'm not going to spend any more time talking about that. The Persuader got a damage per shot increase by 33%, which is huge. It's going to be dealing a third more damage than it was before. And the crosshair dynamic speed increased by 10%. Um, to balance out that damage per shot increase, they reduced the headshot multiplier, which was its, its perk. So, you know, it's just it's going to be the same just because they have higher damage. They had to reduce the multiplier just to even it out. Um, so it might be a little bit better. It's still not going to be great. I do not recommend buying that. The Anubis got a damage per shot increase by 6%. That's not a big deal, but it'll be a tiny bit better. The spread while moving is decreased, so you know you can move a little bit with it. It's still not going to be a good gun. The crosshair dynamic added to most of the machine guns, um, but it is added to the Anubis as well. Just going to make it easier to aim in quicker with machine guns. The Hydra spread while moving decreased. 
starting rate of fire increased by 60%. That's huge because um, that's the one that shoots faster the longer you shoot it. So 60% is a pretty good increase for the starting rate of fire. Um, reaching max fire rate instead of in 2.5 seconds, it takes 4 seconds. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but you have that 60% starting rate of fire, which is still above. Um, and the crosshair dynamic decreased by 2 times. Um, so that is good actually because the crosshair dynamic makes it less accurate. So having it decreased means it has a more accurate um, spread of, of bullets when you shoot it. So for the machine gun's nerfs, we have the Hurricane. Um, we kind of all expected this. Uh, it's a pretty overpowered gun. Basically, it's going to restore less health and the damage per shot decreased by 16%. It's still probably going to be the best early game weapon. It just won't be good in level 34 plus gameplay anymore. Um, yeah, so next we have the pain. This is something that I was not expecting to see nerfed. This might make the Annihilator a more vi viable option. The pain has a decreased ammo from 75 to 60 and a bug fixed which makes it basically deal less damage to burning and frozen targets. Um, before it was dealing an extra 20% and apparently that was a bug. Um, it's still going to deal extra damage, just less. Okay, so next up we have um, rifles. So the nerfs are to the Punisher. Um, ammo capacity decreased from 12 to 10. I have no idea why they nerfed that. It's a terrible gun and they nerfed it. That's, that's really weird. So um, let's just move on. Falcon. Headshot multiplier decreased from three times to two. That's a pretty big nerf. Um, it used to be really, really strong. It's still probably going to be pretty decent, but um, it's not going to be maybe as good as it was before and definitely not as good compared to other snipers. So if you want a sniper rifle that costs gun bucks, you're probably going to want to use the Iceberg now. The Manticore also got changed. Um, it got a charging time decreased by 10%. It's going to shoot a little bit faster. Minimal shooting distance decreased by 37%, so you can shoot at people who are close to you. I don't know why you'd want to do that with a sniper rifle. Um, it also got a change to its perk. I'm not even going to talk about that because it's still going to be a bad gun. So let's move on to uh, the Liquidator. It's a big, pretty big change. Um, the first shot damage is increased by 8%. Um, so I guess the first time you hit someone, you're going to be dealing a bit more damage. It's, it's pretty substantial. Um, I noticed, I actually picked it up today when I was playing with it, um, it deals an extra 100 damage, so instead of 1,200 on your shot, it's going to be dealing 1,300. Um, so the damage of the explosion increased by 8%, I think that was 1,200 as well before, so it's going to be dealing 1,300. Headshot multiplier increased from 1 to 1.2, so it's going to be dealing, you know, higher headshot damage. I'm not exactly sure what that damage is, I will find out. Um, so yeah, but the Liquidator, I definitely noticed it's a lot stronger. It's probably going to be maybe as good as the Thanatos now. Thanatos, so yeah, we'll see. So the Prometheus headshot multiplier increased from 1 to 1.2. It's going to be dealing a tiny bit more headshot damage. It's not a big deal. It still won't be a good gun. The Iceberg, the slowing effect works for 3 seconds instead of 2, but the slowing effect is weaker. We don't know how much weaker that is, but I played against it today. It's still really good. It's going to be one of the best sniper rifles. The Quicksilver. Um, it's a pretty rare gun. It's probably the most rare gun you'll ever see in the game because you never see it. Um, the minimum distance required to make a shot was reduced by 25%. The fire rate was reduced by 17%, but the max damage increased by 122%, and the minimum damage is increased by 33%. Uh, it's, uh, that, that, that's kind of confusing. It's still going to be not that great of a gun, guys. Don't, don't buy it. The Undertaker was changed, the rifle doesn't pause before firing, the rifle the rifle doesn't fire in burst anymore, instead the fire rate was increased by 10%, still a bad gun. The Veteran was changed, but no one uses that. Um, let's move on to Assault Rifle Nerfs. The Sting was nerfed. Uh, we all saw this coming, it's pretty OP in low level games. The duration of the burning effect is decreased from 5 to 2.5 seconds, wow, 50% decrease right there. Um, the minimal shooting distance is decreased by 8%. Headshot multiplier is decreased from 1.6 to 1.3. 
Uh, no one really uses that in high level gameplay anyway, I'm not going to talk about that a whole lot, but yeah, the Sting's probably still going to be pretty decent in low levels, just maybe not quite as good as the Slicer, which I will talk about right now, which got a buff. The Slicer. Min minimal damage increased by 125%. That's just a way of saying that at all levels, it will be dealing 125% more damage, which is crazy. That's a ton of damage. Um, so that's going to be definitely one of the best starting guns now, the Slicer. Okay, we also have a Mamba update, and the max distance increased by 23%. It's basically saying the range increased by 23%. It's a pretty good buff, and the Mamba's already really strong. I think it's one of the most underrated guns in the game. I actually have a montage for you guys, and I'll probably make a review on the Mamba pretty soon, because uh, a lot of people don't know how good it actually is. Um, assault Rifles. Let's keep going. Okay, so a lot of them got a supposed change in the recoil and accuracy. These are the Scattershot, Vampire, Lifestealer, Mamba, and Destroyer. They're all going to be a little bit more, what does it say? It says they're, they're a lot more accurate and comfortable to play with. That's great because none of those guns are really strong except for the Destroyer. And, you know, the Mamba's pretty decent. But, you know, the Scattershot, Vampire, and Lifestealer aren't that great. So it's good if they're getting little little changes that might help. And that is it, guys. So, um, in conclusion here, the Porcupine is going to be way stronger compared to all the other shotguns now. With the nurse to the Trader, the Brawler, and especially the Ranger, and, you know, the Remedy as well. The Porcupine is just going to be so dominant when you're playing shotguns. The Cerberus is going to be a close second. Well, I'm not sure, sure exactly how close it's going to be. It's going to be pretty good, though. I would recommend it, but... It's better just to save up that extra bit of gold and get the Porcupine. It's only like an extra 500 or 600 gold or something. So definitely, if you want a shotgun now, the Porcupine is really the only super viable option. If you already have the Cerberus for some reason, then you lucked out and it's going to be pretty good too. But I wouldn't buy it. I would just buy the Porcupine. Um, most of the assault rifles are the same as they were before. The Juggernaut is still going to be the best, you know. The Anaconda is a second as well as the destroyer now maybe you know with a slight change it might be a little bit more comfortable to use um as far as machine gun goes the annihilator didn't get actually get changed but it got an indirect buff by the pain being nerfed so i would guess that the annihilator is probably pretty close to the pain now um but it's probably still not as good as the pain well definitely not as good as the pain and probably is not as good as the jack frost either i would say the pain and jack frost are still going to be the best two machine guns for you to use. Um, sniper rifles, the Thanatos is still going to be the best. It did not get changed. It's still amazing. It's still great. Um, I thought it got changed at first, but I just read all of the balance changes to you and it is not in there. So yeah, that's it guys. Uh, I really want to hear what you guys think about this. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'll respond to everything and uh, yeah, we can probably get in touch with Guns of Boom too and just tell them that, you know, they didn't really need to nerf all those shotguns and, you know, we just really need to keep giving them feedback and stuff and hopefully they'll uh, rebuff them and make it so that there's more than one viable shotgun. And, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, stay tuned. Got some more good videos coming out soon. See you guys next time.